So evolution. Yep. Now you mentioned noise earlier. Does that have a role? And does that play into this DNA? Yes. Okay, so we can take we can take the traditional theory of evolution and we can insert it into Shannon's communication theory. Okay? Hmm. So here's Clyde Shannon's system, encoder, code, decoder. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so, um, so, so here's what evo Darwinian evolution says. Start with a cell and it's reproducing. Um, the DNA of that cell, so it's you know, making copies and making copies and making copies. Some of the copies get corrupted, and some of those copies are better, not worse. Natural selection cleans out the bad ones and keeps the good ones, and the whole thing keeps improving and improving and improving and improving. Okay, now what I just said sounds very plausible. It, at face value, it's, it's so ridiculously simple and so elegant. Like, well, what further explanation could you need? It's actually observable, right? Well, seemingly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, mean I, don't, I don't argue. I don't have, I do not have any problem with the theory of evolution. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. I've actually, people see, people get, um, people like, Get, get into these assumptions. I mean, I, I remember going to a, a, a debate where that I was in, and like this guy is arguing with me. And at this one point, I stopped and I said, "Read my lips. I don't have a problem with evolution." Like they think they, they, they just know, assume they, they got their guns out and they're ready to you know. It's like calm yeah, down, dude. Okay. I don't have a problem with evolution. I said, what I have a problem with is the idea that it's driven by randomness. Mm. Okay, so, so here's, if, if you map, the, if you take Claude Shannon's system, what he's saying is, what, what, what evolution, traditional evolutionary theory says is that if we make millions of copies of this and we insert noise into the code, that occasionally, some of the copies will be better. They'll have better information. Mm -hmm. And you'll have, so then, you know, one cell organisms will evolve into multi-cell organisms and, and, and apes will evolve into people and, and, and all of this, mm -hmm. okay? The, so, the mutations deriving from the noise yes, in the transmission. Yes, mutations in, in that's the analogy. In, in, Shannon's, in Shannon's model, mutations equals noise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? There's, that's, not a, that's, that's not a controversial statement at all. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. All right. So they're just saying we add a little bit of noise to it, and sometimes it gets better, and then over millions of years you get dramatic improvements. Okay. Well, here's, so here's the thing. And this kind of trips people up. So I'm going to... Nowhere in communication theory is there any provision for saying that some percentage of the time the signal is actually better because of the noise. Okay. Okay. Now... Noise never is good to a signal. No, no. In communication. In theory. communication theory, no, nowhere in engineering, nowhere in telephones or internet or anything, is it like, oh, well, you, we've actually discovered that 0.00001% of the time, noise is good. What about comfort noise in my phone system? Well, talk about that. So that's, I, I need to hear something, other sounds like dead, right? If I'm talking oh, to you right. over the phone. Right. I, the line went dead if I don't have some kind of sub-perceptible noise in there, right? Um, okay, fair enough. That's an audio thing that humans need. But, but that's, not, that, that's not an improvement of the signal. No, it's not. And there, there are actually, there are places in engineering where you use noise. Like in digital recording, you have something called dither. And it keeps the very, it's a randomness 
that keeps the very quietest signals from sounding distorted to your ear. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, so there, there are there are ways in which noise is occasionally introduced for very specific reasons, but the noise is never understood to be improving the signal. It's it's accommodating something about the way the human's brain and ear work. Right. right. Or or the the need of something else in the system to have a signal. Yeah. Or so, it's okay. So first of all, in, in I just want to clarify, there's a difference then in that right. kind of noise. Right. right. And and in 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 communication systems, noise is always the enemy. Mm -hmm. It's never your friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. But th there there are some there's some other problems with noise, and, and, and let me let me explain it. Um, is uh, if you look in in Claude Shannon's work. He talks about characteristics of signals. And he points out, for example, that the most common letter in the English language is E, e right. right? You know, and so like T's and, and, and A and vowels and some of the consonants are way more common than, than the others, okay? And, and he shows how you can sometimes correct errors by knowing the statistical likelihood mm -hmm. of e, e is much more common than Q. So if we have to guess a letter, if just purely guess a missing letter, it's better to guess an E than a Q. Mm -hmm. And then you can have higher levels of I before E except after C. You could use that to, to find missing letters. Um, if you had a dictionary and you know the equipment was watching the words come, you, you could correct it, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but, but Shannon points out that all signals have idiosyncrasies, mm -hmm. okay? All languages, all codes, and it's true. Any file in your computer, there's certain patterns that, that tend to occur over and over and mm -hmm. over again. Mm -hmm. Noise destroys those patterns. Mm -hmm. It always destroys the patterns. If you take English and you, and you start adding noise to it, whether you add it quickly or slowly or however, eventually there's going to be just as many Q's as E's. Just because of the way statistics will apply. Right. Okay. And so when, when you add statistical randomness to any signal, it destroys it. Mm -hmm. But there's an even more important reason why it destroys it. Okay, and this is really, really huge.